in this video we will see how we can uh, get the DynamoDB table data in uh, ReactJS so first of all let's go to DynamoDB in AWS so DynamoDB is a NoSQL uh, database uh, let's create a new table so we will be giving it as a project users and a partition key is nothing but a primary key of the table so it should be unique for every record and whatever the entries we have uh, what what should be the sort order uh, sorting key we need to mention here so currently we have mentioned only two columns so now we can just go inside uh, project users that is explore items so we can create a new item after saving it we will be getting that uh, details in uh, DynamoDB itself so in order to view that we can see that in the explore items so this is the record which we added so let's now create a new IAM user I will create it in my own name and I will give a custom password for that after creating let's associate a role for that I will give it as a developer and this one this key and value is optional after doing all of this you can just create a new react application I will be opening a existing uh, react application so for our use and uh, so this is one of the react application which was built and we will just uh, start the server to verify that uh, we don't have any errors so it is getting started in uh, port number 3000 and uh, so hopefully we don't have any errors currently and uh, can get started how to get the DynamoDB response so for this we will just uh, go and install some of the libraries one of the library where uh, we can hit the API and get the response so for that we have one documentation which I am referring I will be mentioning it in the description as well let's install this AWS SDK after we install we will be able to see that package in uh, package.json and we will write the code inside index.js itself get the response from the table which we created project uh, users so I am just copy pasting all of the code and this is the access key which we can get in the DynamoDB itself so we'll be having two things one is a access ID and a secret key so let's get the table name what we created project users and give it there so we will just for now console log the data what we are getting back and uh, so currently we don't have any errors let's go to the source file and put a debugger inside that so we are getting an error over there this dot dynamo db so this is not able to recognize so what we will do is we'll just uh, try to keep it here 
inside the function itself okay this is undefined undefined uh, dot dynamo db it is taking so what we can do is just create a new variable in that name itself dynamo db and similarly for the doc client where we are using for uh, scan now if we try to hit the debugger ideally we should be getting the dynamo db and dynamo client doc client from that so and we are able to get the response as well so this is how we can